What's good, my beautiful, beautiful people? I'm back here again with another update on the IRS stimulus checks. All right, so the IRS this past weekend said that this week alone, they're gonna release 60 million direct deposits. Okay, so if you guys have given the IRS your direct deposit information, your routing and bank account number before, if you've set up a payment plan with them before, if you've ever gotten a direct deposit from the IRS, okay, good chance you're gonna get your money this week, okay? 60 million direct deposits should be going out this week. Now, if the IRS doesn't have your direct deposit information, cool, not an issue. This week, the IRS should be adding uh, a feature on their website so that you can add your routing and banking information and you can get a direct deposit in the weeks to come. Starting May 1st, they're gonna start sending out those physical checks. Those checks can take anywhere from one to five months to get to you. So if you don't wanna wait five months for your physical check to come in, then go over to the IRS website. Hopefully by this Friday, uh, they should have it on there so that you can add your banking information and you can get a direct deposit. All right, cool. Now on to the next subject, okay. PPP and EIDL updates. So, from what I've seen so far, uh, looks like less than three, four percent of businesses that have applied for a PPP loan have actually gotten them. And most of these businesses are applying through small lenders and credit unions. So, if you have a good relationship or any banking relationship really with a small lender or a credit union, it's an opportunity for you to kind of get ahead of the curve. Maybe you want to apply you know, through them instead of a big national company like Wells Fargo or Bank of America. Even though Bank of America is accepting applications, I haven't heard of anyone who's gotten the money from uh, Bank of America, you know, using Bank of America as their lender. But I have heard of people, very, very few, you know, but I have heard of people receiving PPP funds through a credit union. So you might want to try a credit union uh, instead of a big national bank, although you can only get one PPP loan. So, um, you know, just kind of a race to see who can do it quicker sort of thing. In terms of the EIDL, those are for sure going out. Um, I'm starting to see them. It's not as much money as most people are expecting. Like I said last time, um, they've kind of switched it up on us and now they're doing it based off of the number of employees. So, you know, one to 10 employees, you're getting $1,000 per employee. And then anything above 10 employees, you're just getting that straight $10,000 grant, which was different from what was originally told to us by uh, the government. And, but this is what it is. I'm just giving you guys an update. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Like, comment below. I appreciate it. One love.